Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe at the end. Really appreciate it. I have a super clean Heathkit SP220 here. I've worked on hundreds of these, but this one's so clean if you ever make a video. So, a uh, customer complained about issues with the multimeter. Took care of that. Traced it back to the metering board. Um, sometimes it's the rotary switch here being dirty or bad contact. But So, went ahead and purchased. I suggested these two boards. So, I purchased the metering board, assembled it, put it in. Purchased the filter cap board from Harbach. Both from Harbach. Great kits. Um, installed both. I always recommend putting some silicone, just a dab around the caps, like in areas, so it doesn't slip out of the plastic pieces at any point. Also put a dab within the shell thing. I use kef nuts on the other side to keep this from ever backing out. Um, I change the parasitic suppressors. Always do that because the stock ones always shift value. These are 51 ohm, which is fine. So they test at like 50 point something each. Just purchased like 300 something of them, so I should have a really good stock for a long time. Always replace these connections right here also. You plate blocking cap, new strap. Clean the input and output rotary switches. Check the SO239 connectors, they're nice and tight. So that's all, that all looks good. Series glitch resistor, would be positive. A piece of rubber so it won't get scratched. <clears throat> Ground at the grids, real nice, nice, as you can see. I couldn't get over here to ground, so I just went to the ground connection through the screw right there, but the rest go directly to ground. So you, this is usually over more, so I can get down up in there, but I couldn't do it on this one. But that's fine. Replace the cap for the 90 volt winding, the rectified winding off the filament transformer. To the bias modification, clean the uh, TR relay contacts with deoxid gold. So, zip tied, everything nice, nice. So, this thing's good to go. Wired for 120, replacing hardware that was missing. So, this thing should outlast the, the owner, should outlast me, as long as he doesn't do anything crazy to it. But, great amplifier beautiful shape so thanks for watching have a great day